Why Slate's $20,000 EV truck doesn't need Tesla's gigacasting and might be smarter without it. Hey there, EV warriors and future forward thinkers. Welcome back to EVpedia, your one-stop shop for everything happening in the electrified world of tomorrow. Before we dive in, I have a quick challenge for our amazing viewers. What do you think is more expensive, a single gigacasting machine or a fleet of factory robots? If you think you know the answer, drop it in the comments below right now. And if you're watching but haven't hit that glorious red subscribe button yet, let me ask you this. Would you drive a high-performance EV without regenerative braking? No. Then don't leave us hanging. Subscribe to EVpedia, like this video, and comment your thoughts. We're shooting for 1,000 likes and 100 comments in the next 24 hours. And with you on board, I know we can hit it. Let's roll. All right, now let's talk about a new EV player that's flipping the script slate. This isn't just another electric startup with a flashy prototype and over-the-top promises. No, Slate is taking a completely different route. It's promising a no-frills, ultra-affordable electric truck at just $20,000. And get this, it's not using gigacasting to build it. That's right, no Tesla-style molten metal machines. And Slate has a pretty compelling reason why. But first, let's quickly get up to speed on what gigacasting even is. Imagine building a car by piecing together hundreds, if not thousands, of stamped metal parts, each one riveted or welded into place. It's a time-honored, reliable process, but it's also time-consuming and expensive. Enter gigacasting, a bold new method that pumps molten metal into a massive mold using high-pressure die casting, turning what used to be 300-plus parts into just one. Tesla pioneered this strategy with the Model Y, eliminating hundreds of components, shaving 10% off the vehicle's weight, and boosting efficiency. Pretty incredible stuff. So naturally, most automakers are lining up to ride the gigacasting hype train. But not Slate. This small, Saturn-inspired startup is doing things differently and deliberately. According to Slate, they've already slashed costs so efficiently elsewhere that they don't need to invest in a gigacasting machine, which, get this, can cost upwards of $7.5 million just for one unit and its tooling. That's without factoring in the specialized metallurgists' expensive alloys or the complicated engineering required to get all working properly. So rather than solve a problem it doesn't have, Slate is skipping the metal-squirting mega-machine altogether. A spokesperson summed it up perfectly. Gigacasting takes out complexity in parts but adds complexity in engineering and cost. Slate's approach? Just remove the complexity everywhere. And they're not bluffing. While most traditional automakers need over 2,500 unique parts for final vehicle assembly, Slate only needs 500. That's right, just 500 end items shipped to its plant to build the entire truck. Fewer parts mean faster assembly, fewer moving pieces, and drastically lower costs. And the result? A $20,000 truck that isn't trying to break the sound barrier or impress your neighbor with a 48-inch screen, but instead, one that simply works. Sure, it's missing the kind of over-engineered drama you'd find in cyberpunk concept vehicle. No spaceship dashboard. No 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. No folding stainless steel exoskeleton. And again, no gigacasting. But that's the point. This truck isn't built for tech bros, it's built for everyone else. The commuters. The budget-conscious families. The folks who want the capability of a pickup but miss the humble size of a 90s Chevy S10. It's familiar, functional, and revolutionary in its own right. Now, I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think Slate is onto something here, or is it taking too big a risk by skipping the latest manufacturing trend? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, while you're there, share this video with a friend who's into EVs but tired of luxury price models. From the EVpedia point of view, this is a fascinating pivot. In a world where EVs are getting bigger, flashier, and more expensive, Slate is pulling in the opposite direction. They're challenging the entire EV status quo by going back to simplicity, and maybe, just maybe, that's exactly what the market needs right now. Now, I have to ask, what would you rather drive, a minimalistic, no-nonsense EV truck that nails the essentials for $20,000, or a tech-loaded electric tank that barely fits in your garage? Let us know in the comments, we read every single one. And before we head out, remember the question I asked at the top? The correct answer is, a single gigacasting machine can cost more than $7.5 million. That's more than enough to fund entire production lines if you're building smart like Slate. To everyone who made it to the end, you are the heart of EVpedia and we appreciate you more than words can say. If this video sparked something in you, 
give it a thumbs up, slam that subscribe button if you haven't already, and help us hit that 1,000 like and 100 comment goal. Let's light up the comment section. Do you think simplicity could be the future of EVs? And don't forget to use that super thanks button if you want to support us even more. Until next time, stay informed, stay inspired, and stay electric. Catch you in the next one.